You are watching Endeavor TV with the Sony Wyo X1 netbook or sub notebook. Rather sub notebook because it costs 1400 euros here in Germany, but it has an Atom Z550 processor with 2 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of DDR. 2 RAM I think and a 128GB SSD, display is 11.1 inch and it weighs around 760 grams, so 1.5 pounds, which is really not that much for a netbook that is lasting around 3 to 4.5 hours depending on what you're doing. Right now I'm in heavy work mode, so 3 hours with wireless and almost a maximum brightness. Is pretty good. So this is the Sony Wyo X1 and I'm going to demonstrate some multimedia testing to you now starting off with a YouTube trailer Inception which I already tried in the German video before but see for yourself so 480p in almost full resolution which is actually 1366 times 768 works pretty good 360p of course also which is even actually smoother than this this is already not the fastest the fan is already blowing really fast because playing flash video isn't that easy for most computers which is the reason why Apple doesn't like Adobe and doesn't low flash on most of their devices. This is 720p now, which you can see is really stuttering, not that fast. And once I switch to 1080p, it's going to be actually um, a pain in the... Yeah, you know what? So, rather stay with 360p or 480p on YouTube, but it's playable. So, let's show you some regular websites like the newyorktimes.com so you see how this nice um, big screen looks like i already zoomed in a little bit so you don't have that big of a border here on the side and it's clearly visible readable let me zoom in a little bit then you can see better and if we go on a post article then you can see that once the letters become even bigger, it's actually really nice and view readable. So let's close this up and let me show you some regular AVI movie. This is Eureka and let me skip a little bit. And as you can see, um, you have no borders at all, which is really nice. Um, then let me show you from the side how the color changes on this display which is really really good as you can see it's almost the same from the side but as you can see it's a little bit glossy but not too much so this is a regular AVI movie now one interesting thing that I want to demonstrate to you is in the regular Windows Media Player most of the things play but sometimes I have dual audio stream so I need to use VLC and once I tried it with that one, one really interesting thing is if you're in full screen mode you can't move the mouse because once you move the mouse the whole thing is going to be slow slow if I move the mouse as you can see it's getting really really slow and yeah it's just interesting that moving the mouse needs so much resources so rather just use the windows media player 720p video big bug bunny plays actually pretty smooth so let me go to the scene with the most action where it usually hangs a little bit so right here where all the leaves move in the picture that's where it normally gets a little bit too slow but it plays pretty fine here. Actually this is the maximum um, speaker volume right now. Oh yeah, one other thing is if you use the FN buttons <laughs> everything gets really slow also but yeah, 
that's actually okay. Not a good thing to see, but you can live with it. And 1080p, the same movie. Interestingly, plays pretty smoothly at the same scene also with where there is a lot of picture movement and usually other netbooks can't really do this but I guess 2 GHz and 2 GB of RAM aren't that bad all these videos are locally of course and I think you can see that the colors are pretty damn good also not a lot of netbooks have a this good display and yeah I think this is enough of the video part, so let's go over to pictures. This are, these are 5 megapixel pictures in near view and when I hit space, you can see that it doesn't take too long to go to the next picture, so it's about 1 second max. So this is good, then Photoshop CS4 loads up pretty quick also, but... Um, the computer has a lot of work to do because I can hear the fan blowing. Maybe you can hear it too, but I will show you later around the device and let you hear it when we start up Counter-Strike in a bit. In the German video it didn't work, but maybe this time it will load. So let me cut out a piece, insert it again. If I move it around you can see, not that fast, but again this is a 5 megapixel picture, so there's a lot of small pixels. Um, and if I want to smudge it, then you will see if I go do this, the netbook has to calculate really a lot, so it takes a few seconds till this is finished. So I rather only tell you to remove some red eyes or any smaller works to do with Photoshop, but you shouldn't do, shouldn't use it for too much. So yeah, this was Photoshop CS4 don't want to save this and while starting up Counter-Strike as I said I'm going to show you around the device so this is the nice keyboard which is really good to type on let me zoom out a little bit and on the top we have a wireless switch which allows you to control Bluetooth, wireless, LAN, BG and N and um, a 3G card which is inside then we have scrolling here on the side on the touchpad and the touchpad is really good, really responsive and the touch buttons, mouse buttons are really good also. Then we have three LEDs here on the bottom for HDD or SSD um, speed or workload, wireless of course, and if the battery is charging. On the side we have a VGA LAN port which is not gigabit, only 1000 Mbit. On the front there is a there are two card readers actually for SD and Sony memory sticks and on the other side there is a headphone jack, two USBs, one of them has my mouse right now plugged in, then Kensington power and on the side here you can actually hear already the fan which is right here, there and as you can hear it's a bit blowing and it's getting warm here on the right bottom side also because that's where the processor is but you can still use it because it's not that bad and yeah actually on the bottom I didn't show you the bottom there is a really big battery in the front and the whole device as I said is really really light and the display doesn't move too easily and yeah it's, it feels really really good so let's start a new game we have a resolution of um, 640 times 480 right now here and the last time I tried on the German version yeah it got an error message like this and it didn't work unable to load authentication so yeah Counter-Strike doesn't work still and this was actually it from my multimedia testing of the Sony Vio X1 um, for other tests like these on other netbooks, check out Endeavor TV on YouTube. Then I have Endeavor.com, which is actually a German netbook website. Uh, thank you for watching. I am Balazs Gal. Till next time. Yeah, have a nice summer. <laughs>